Good morning, it's day 122. And I'm just gonna have breakfast at the same spot I had dinner last night. Just because it's a pretty darn awesome spot. We got all kinds of weather going on. We got sun, we got wind, we got these rain showers just kind of wafting by. Looks like they might come and get me. Starting out the day with a nice steep one down the creek. Looks like one of the huts up on the hill there. Look at this. <clears throat> it's class one. This has been going on for about 300 feet. Okay, it's over now. This is the Galead Hut. They open next Thursday, so that's, that's another week. There's a couple of guys in there unpacking an amazing amount of supplies. Um, so lots of people come up here. <clears throat> and here's the view they get so I guess people like to be, use this as a staging area to hike around or maybe they just come in and stay here and this is a helicopter pad so they bring in all the supplies by helicopter I am on South Twin Mountain So vast. That's back at the ridge walk from yesterday. There's Garfield. So I hiked down there to the shelter. Um, maybe 300 feet below that peak. All right. Looks like some weather could be moving in. Uh, a guy told me yesterday um, there was some haze that those were uh, uh, sm it was smoke from uh, wildfires in Canada. So I'm hoping that doesn't become a trend. I haven't smelled any smoke. I certainly see the haze. Um, I don't know what you are or why you're so tame. chicken. right next to me. That was weird behavior. Maybe you have a nest near. Oh, you're some kind of rooster. Somebody tell me what this is.
shake it. That's right. Show it off. I think I'm the wrong species though. So um we can move on. Mount Kuyo. Alright, I haven't filmed for a while. Uh, when I was on top of Zealand Mountain, um, a thunderstorm hit. Like, out of nowhere. Real cold rain. And, and I knew there was a chance of thunderstorm, so I can kind of kick myself because I didn't have my jacket at hand. It was buried in my pack, so it took me a while to get the pack on. And so I got cold, and so I headed down the hill a couple thousand feet, and um, after about an hour, um, it started to get warm because I was going downhill, and it stopped raining. And so um, I, I made it to. Zealand hut and uh, when I was at the top there was a group of kids there from a school and, uh, and and a couple of teachers with them and they were staying at the hut so the hut was open and uh, so they gave me chicken and salad so that was nice and um, and so I thought based on what the they said at the other hut that none of the huts were open so um, that's not the case so, lesson learned for the whites, have that rain gear at hand and be ready to act fast and get it on. Walking down the middle of a giant rock slide. like out west somewhere. I am at the Ethan Pond campsite. Let's see if I can get a better picture later. It's on the hill over there. And I'm on the platform again. Here's my setup for the night. I decided to use a tent. It's pretty cozy. So wrapping up for the day. Had a good day, 14.5 miles from the Garfield shelter to the Ethan, Ethan Pond shelter. Um, had a nice thunderstorm, got caught in today. <clears throat> And I was able to clear it up. I was able to completely dry out after that. So I uh, got here at a decent hour, 5.30. And uh, just took my time. And I'm getting to bed pretty early. <laughs>